Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a baby teddy. When crocheted in eight ply wool, this one here, the size is 10 centimetres by 7 centimetres or 4 inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. Crocheted in four ply crochet cotton, this one, the size is 7 centimetres by 4.5 centimetres or 2 and 3 quarter inches by 1 and 3 quarter inches. I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton today. I've got the light pink for the main colour and the dark pink for the contrast. The white is for the nappy and the bottle. The yellow is for the top of the bottle and the brown is for the teat. I've got a 1.25 millimetre crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in my ends, scissors, I've got thread to sew it together and a sewing needle and I've got black to embroider on the eyes, nose and mouth and I've got silver cotton to embroider on a nappy pin. Now I'll start on the teddy's head so using my main colour I make a magic loop or a magic circle. For a magic loop I put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and take my long end over the short end to make a circle, then put the yarn around my hook and take the hook with the yarn through the circle. And that's my magic loop. And then I work two chain Into my circle I work three double crochet. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook take the hook with the yarn through the remaining two loops. I need two more double crochet. Then I work two half double crochet. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. And I need one more half double crochet. And then I work three double crochet And then two more half double crochet. And then I pull the circle tight. So I take hold of the tail and just ease it in as tight as I can. And then slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So just in there for a slip stitch I put the hook into the stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on our the hook. And that's row one done. For row two, I start with two chain. I work two double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. And then work two double crochet into each stitch around.
and then work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch around. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet you put your hook into the stitch and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the two loops. So a single crochet into each stitch around. And at the end of the row, we work a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And I'll just need to tighten my centre circle a bit more. So that's the head done. I'll just weave in the ends to make it easier for you to see while I'm crocheting on the ears. Now for the outer ears, we'll work from the beginning of this ear, the first sticking up and this ear all in one go. To find out where to start, we find our middle stitch and work back five stitches and join there. and work one chain. Into the same stitch as the chain we work one half double crochet and one double crochet Into the next stitch we work two double crochet And into the following stitch we work one double crochet, one half double crochet and a slip stitch. And that's the first ear finished. Now we're going to slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. Now for the first piece of fur sticking up, the smaller one, we work two chain. We miss the first chain and slip stitch into the next chain. And then slip stitch into the same stitch as the chain. And then work three chain, that's for the second bit of fur. Miss the first chain and slip stitch into each of the remaining two chain. And then slip stitch into the same stitch as our chain. Now we slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. Now for the second ear, we start with one chain and work one half double crochet and one double crochet into the same stitch as the chain. Work 
work two double crochet into the next stitch into the next stitch we work one double crochet one half double crochet and a slip stitch and fasten off And that's the bear's head done. For the muzzle, it's worked the same as the first row of the head. We make a magic loop. And work two chain. Work three double crochet. Two half double crochet three double crochet and two half double crochet. We pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the muzzle done. Now for the inner ears, we'll need to make two. I'm using my contrast colour. I make a magic loop. And work one chain. And work three single crochet into my circle. For the single crochet, I put my hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around and through. The two loops. So three single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight but I don't join and fasten off. And I've got a small half circle. So I make a magic loop and one chain and three single crochet into my circle pull the circle tight and fasten off for the arm I've got my main colour again and I make a magic loop and start with three chain. I work three double crochet into my circle Pull the circle tight but I don't join. For row 2 I start with 3 chain. I turn my work and work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And I work 2 double crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 I start with 3 chain and turn, I work 
one double crochet into each of the first two stitches and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For a joined half double crochet I put the yarn around my hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around my hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. For row 4 I start with 3 chain and turn and I'm going to work a double crochet cluster over all the stitches. For a double crochet cluster I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook through two loops. And then I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook through the first two loops. I've got three loops left on my hook and then I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook through the first two loops, yarn around the hook and then take the hook through the remaining loops. And that's our arm done. We're going to do a neatening row so we don't fasten off. We're going to work a slip stitch into each stitch around. Now for a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Now work them quite loose or it will pull your the arm in. So a slip stitch into each stitch around. Just find a suitable place to put your hook. And at the end of the row we slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the arm done. I'll just weave in my ends for the head and then we'll start on the body. Now for the body I find the centre stitch at the bottom and join my main colour cotton two stitches back from the centre stitch. So just in there and work one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain and then I work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. For row 2 I start with one chain and turn my work. I work two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have six stitches.
For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn and I work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have 6 stitches. For row 4 I start with 1 chain and turn, I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches And over the last two stitches I'm going to work a joined single crochet. For a joined single crochet I put my hook into the first stitch and bring back a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn through all the loops. For row 5 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have 6 stitches. For row 6 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and I'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and I'll have five stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 I start with 1 chain and turn, I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have 4 stitches. For row 8 I start with 1 chain and turn I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have 5 stitches. For row 9 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of my 5 stitches. For row 10 I start with 1 chain and turn, I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and there will be 4 stitches. And for row 11 we start with 1 chain and turn we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and fasten off. And that's the body part done. I'll just weave in the ends and we'll start on the leg. For the leg we're going to join at the bottom here but on the wrong side so I turn it over 
and join just in there. And work one chain. And then I work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. For row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn, I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 7 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 6 stitches. So 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we work one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and fasten off. Now we'll just start on a neatening row. I join my yarn just in at the beginning of the neck there.
and I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch around to the neck. So I'll continue working around and I'll be back when I get to the neck. When we get back to the beginning of the row we slip stitch into the neck and fasten off. And that's the teddy part done. For the foot Using my contrast colour, I start with four chain. I slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Into the next stitch I work one single crochet, one half double crochet and one single crochet. And I work a slip stitch into the last stitch. and fasten off. And that's the bottom of the foot. For the nappy, I've got white and I start with four chain. I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each of the remaining three chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each of my four stitches. For row 4, I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 5, I start with two chain and turn. I work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each remaining stitch. For row 6 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet into the following stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch.
and that's the nappy done. We're going to do a neatening row now, so we work one chain and we turn our work, we need it facing this way, and we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. I'll work two single crochet into the corner stitches. I'll work a chain there just to give it a slightly better sharp corner. And I'm crocheting in the tail now, so I'm holding it against my work and crocheting over the top of it. and then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the nappy done. Now for the bottom of the bottle, using my white, I start with four chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. Now rows two to five are work the same. We start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. That's rows two to five. I've done row two, now I'm working on row three. Now that's row 5 finished. For row 6 I start with 2 chain and turn. I work one half double crochet in the first stitch, a single crochet in the next stitch and a half double crochet in the last stitch. And that's the bottle done. I'm going to work a neatening row now. I'm going to work a slip stitch in each stitch down the side along the bottom and up the side. So one slip stitch into each stitch down the side.
I work a slip stitch into the work when I don't want it to become much thicker. If it's okay to be a little bit thicker, I work a single crochet. So I've worked along the bottom and now I'm working up the side. Then I slip stitch into the top and work two chain and a half double crochet into the first stitch, a single crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the bottom part of the bottle done. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back. Now for the top of the bottle, I join my contrast colour. I'm using yellow, just in the first stitch on the top of the bottle. And work one chain and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. and fasten off. For the teat I'm going to use brown. I turn my bottle over and join the teat colour to the first stitch and work one chain and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches For row two, we turn our work and slip stitch into the middle stitch and work two chain and work one half double crochet in the same stitch as a chain and fasten off. And that's the bottle done. I'll just weave in the remaining ends and we'll be back to put it together. Now here's all my pieces. I've got the teddy the two inner ears, a muzzle, the arm, a bottle, the nappy and the foot part. The first things I'll do is embroider a nappy pin onto the nappy, a bit like that one, hopefully I'll get it a bit better. I'll attach the inner ears just up in there. I'll attach the foot just to the end of the foot there and I'll embroider a nose and a mouth onto the muzzle. Now the next things I'll do is attach the nappy to the bear just in there and I'll attach the muzzle to the head. The top of the muzzle just goes slightly over the centre circle so in there now the next things I'll do is attach the arm. It just goes slightly behind the back and just under the muzzle and I'll embroider on the eyes. And the last thing I do is attach the bottle behind the leg and the arm and just sticking up over the face. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished bear. And there's the finished baby bear. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns 
my Facebook group and my Patreon account. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.